Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest uh, horror movie to grace our screens, Gretel and Hansel. Now, before I begin, of course, this is a spoiler-filled film review. I will be discussing character and scene details, plot points, and of course, the big ending and all that jazz. So if you have not seen Gretel and Hansel yet and you would like to, do not keep watching or listening to this video, as I will We'll be discussing spoilers so you have been warned okay spoiler warning is given let's jump right into it um i really i i liked it a lot i i didn't love it and i didn't hate it either but I liked it. It was um, it was okay. Uh, parts of it were it were it was it felt a little difficult to keep my interest. I don't know if it was because I was tired or maybe if the plot was moving along slowly. But the thing that really carried this movie were the performances of both Sophia Lillis, who played Gretel, and of course the awesome Alice Craig, who played the witch. And uh, you know the kid who played Hansel did a pretty good job too. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the, I liked the guy who played uh, the bowman or the huntsman, the guy who saved them from the sick guy, the sick zombie guy, whatever he was. You know, he was pretty cool, too. But, uh, you know, those two especially really carried this movie, you know, given it was an already small cast, you know, they, they really did carry this movie well. And uh, they both did an excellent job in their respective roles. Um, I feel like this movie leaned more towards the fantasy aspect of things rather than a horror aspect of things i mean this movie felt more creepy than it did scary in fact there weren't many scares in this film to begin with not even too many jump scares like one in the beginning and that was more meant as a surprise when the mother throws the axe down on the table but besides that not really that scary more definitely creepy it had a creepy vibe and tone to it but not that scary honestly which was a little disappointing because i was hoping for something a bit more frightening a bit more in your face you know literally but um i liked it for what it was you know i was hoping for a grand finale that included the witch burning in her own oven or in a fire of some kind and that i did i was not disappointed in that regard because that was the big climax scene was like right before as she has uh, gretel strapped down and she's about to cook poor Hansel who's in a trance you know I like how Gretel taps into her own witch powers to like break herself free and then use uh, her own powers to like um, stick it to the witch and then allow her to burn and Chris and basically uh, burn to death and become all crispy and dusty and fall apart and it was a good way for a villain like that to die so that that was pretty satisfying thought it was pretty nasty about turning uh leftover parts of kids into food that was gross that felt very much like a horror movie uh element right there you know a nasty reveal like that that was pretty nasty and shocking uh <laughs> i also love uh, the makeup job they did on Alice Craig, uh, the woman who played the witch, you know, she, so much of that was just her own performance. But I know like some of the stuff like the eyes was obviously contact lens and then like her cheeks were a bit puffier. That was probably the makeup job. So she looked and sounded great as a creepy witch living in the woods. I also liked how I how they put a twist on the Gretel character where it was implied that she was becoming a witch herself or she could have the potential to become a witch because she had that second sight or that foresight into seeing things that nobody else could really see. And I like how the witch actually wanted to help her grow in regards to her powers, but that meant eliminating Hansel because he would have been considered a distraction or a liability. And she, she was like, hey, you know, why don't we just eat him and be done with it so you can grow as a witch. I also loved the ending how it implied that now she may become a witch, that she may become the very thing she, that she just destroyed earlier in the film. Um, I like, you know, I wasn't expecting them to separate at the end, but I did like how she put his interests ahead of hers and then sent him off where he would be safe. And it uh, looks like he went back home for some reason. Not sure why that happened. There are a few confusing things about this movie, but overall it was a pretty straightforward plot and easy to follow along with. Could have been just a tad bit more exciting, but 
you know, I'm grateful we got it for what it was. Um, like I said, I could, I would have preferred more of a horror movie instead of a fantasy film that had a creepy element to it because that's what it kind of felt like. But maybe that's what they were shooting for. So overall, I liked it. It was um, it was OK. Nothing too special or outstanding, but it was definitely a big improvement from The Turning, which sucked. If you guys saw my last film review I did. Ooh, that was a bad movie. But this was a pretty big improvement compared to that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed Gretel and Hansel as much as I did, uh, maybe more than I did. What did you think of the movie? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your night. Gretel and Hansel is now playing in theaters. Check your local times for tickets. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Thanks again for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.